Unit 15. Women in Society. Part A. Reading. Page 162. Throughout much of the history of human civilization, deep seated cultural beliefs allowed women only limited roles in society. Many people believed that women's natural roles were as mothers and wives. These people considered women to be better suited for childbearing and homemaking. Rather than involvement in the public life of business or politics. Widespread doubt about women's intellectual ability led most societies to deny education, employment, and many legal and political rights to women. It was men who controlled most positions of employment and power in society. The struggle for women's rights. The rights that establish the same social, economic, and political status for women as for men began in the 18th century during a period known as the Age of Enlightenment. During this period, political philosophers in Europe began to argue that all individuals, male or female, were born with natural rights that made them free and equal. These pioneer thinkers advocated that women should not be discriminated against on the basis of their sex. Today, although their status varies in different countries, women in most parts of the world have gained significant legal rights. The most important of these are the right to have equal work opportunities and pay to men, the right to vote, and the right to formal education. Unit 15 Women in Society. Part A. Reading. Page 162. Throughout much of the history of human civilization, deep seated cultural beliefs allowed women only limited roles in society. Many people believed that women's natural roles were as mothers and wives. These people considered women to be better suited for childbearing and homemaking. Rather than involvement in the public life of business or politics. Widespread doubt about women's intellectual ability led most societies to deny education, employment, and many legal and political rights to women. It was men who controlled most positions of employment and power in society. The struggle for women's rights. The rights that establish the same social, economic, and political status for women as for men began in the 18th century during a period known as the Age of Enlightenment. During this period, political philosophers in Europe began to argue that all individuals, male or female, were born with natural rights that made them free and equal. These pioneer thinkers advocated that women should not be discriminated against on the basis of their sex. Today, although their status varies in different countries, women in most parts of the world have gained significant legal rights. The most important of these are the right to have equal work opportunities and pay to men, the right to vote, and the right to formal education. Task 1. Listen to the passage and choose the best answer, A, B, or C, to complete each sentence. Women hold up half the sky. This is an old Chinese saying. However, research shows that perhaps women do more than their share of holding up the sky. 50% of the world's population are women, but nearly two thirds of all working hours are done by women. They do most of the domestic work like cooking and washing clothes. Millions also work outside of the home. Women hold 40% of all the world's jobs. For this work, they earn only 40 to 60% as much as men, and of course, they earn nothing for their domestic work. In developing countries, where three fourths of the world's population lives, women produce more than half of the food. In Africa, 80% of all agricultural work is done by women. In parts of Africa, this is a typical day for a village woman. 
At 4.45 a.m., she gets up, washes, and eats. It takes her half an hour to walk to the fields, and she works there until 3 o'clock p.m. She collects firewood until 4 o'clock p.m., then comes back home. She spends the next hour and a half preparing food to cook. Then she collects water for another hour. From 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., she cooks. After dinner, she spends an hour washing the dishes. She then goes to bed at 9.30 p.m. Task 1. Listen to the passage and choose the best answer, A, B, or C, to complete each sentence. Women hold up half the sky. This is an old Chinese saying. However, research shows that perhaps women do more than their share of holding up the sky. Fifty percent of the world's population are women, but nearly two-thirds of all working hours are done by women. They do most of the domestic work like cooking and washing clothes. Millions also work outside of the home. Women hold 40% of all the world's jobs. For this work, they earn only 40 to 60% as much as men, and of course they earn nothing for their domestic work. In developing countries, where three-fourths of the world's population lives, women produce more than half of the food. In Africa, 80% of all agricultural work is done by women. In parts of Africa, this is a typical day for a village woman. At 4.45 a.m., she gets up, washes, and eats. It takes her half an hour to walk to the fields, and she works there until 3 o'clock p.m. She collects firewood until 4 o'clock p.m., then comes back home. She spends the next hour and a half preparing food to cook. Then she collects water for another hour. From 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. she cooks. After dinner, she spends an hour washing the dishes. She then goes to bed at 9.30 p.m. Part C. Listening. Page 167. Listen and repeat. Saying. Two-thirds. Hold up. Three fourths, agricultural, Africa, firewood, respect. Part C, listening, page one hundred sixty-seven. Listen and repeat. Saying, two thirds. Hold up. Three fourths, agricultural. Africa, firewood, respect. Part E, language focus, page 169. Intonation. Practice reading the following sentences with the rising tone. One, did you have a good holiday? Two, must you go now? Three, Shall I bring some sandwiches for you, too? 4. Can I go with you, Jack? 5. Have your parents been to Britain, Joe? Part E. Language Focus. Page 169. Intonation. Practice reading the following sentences with the rising tone. 1. Did you have a good holiday? 2. Must you go now? 3. Shall I bring some sandwiches for you, too? 4. Can I go with you, Jack? 5. Have your parents been to Britain, Joe? Part E. Language Focus. Page 169. Intonation. Practice reading the following sentences with the rising tone. 1. Did you have a good holiday? 2. Must you go now? 3. Shall I bring some sandwiches for you, too? 4. Can I go with you, Jack? 5. 
Have your parents been to Britain, Joe?